What is up, guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Today's video, we are changing out the elements in this kiln. And so if you have electric kilns, then the heat is provided by elements that go all throughout the kiln. And those heat up slowly and then basically heat everything up and then the kiln is super well insulated so it those elements just keep everything hot on the inside. And every once in a while, you need to change out the elements. For me, I have never touched the elements in this kiln. I've had this kiln for probably six or seven years. I usually only use it for bisque firing, which is a lower temperature. So it's not as hard on the elements, so it would last longer. But I have no idea when the last elements were changed. My other kiln, this 1027 that I do the glaze in, that goes up to cone seven or eight all the time, I think I've replaced the elements twice in that kiln since I've owned it for the last like eight years. It really varies how long it'll last. If you don't go as high temp, then it will last longer. Um, but anyway, it's a good skill to have to be able to change your elements. It's not the hardest thing in the world, uh, but it does take a little bit of, you just gotta know what you're doing kind of, just like anything. So this uh, first step that we gotta do is we gotta unplug it from the wall, right? That's absolute crucial, number one. We don't wanna get shocked. I have gotten shocked by 240 volt before and it's not fun. So, first step, unplug that. A couple things you will need before you get started is the elements. So make sure that the element is made for your kiln. This is the KM1218. It each says center element, center element, and then this says top or bottom, and top or bottom. Couple tools, random electrical tools. I couldn't find a needle nose, but there's a pliers. So there's an array of tools. It's also worth noting that I am not an element changing expert by any means. So I've done this probably four times in my life uh, and I feel comfortable doing it to my own kilns. But if you don't feel comfortable, it may be worth checking in with your local kiln supplier. Unscrew all these screws from the box. So I have them all unscrewed except for the last one. Open. Now I actually have to remember how to do this. So it'll go in and then around and then around again and then it'll come back through to there. So like one, two will be the first element, the top, three, four will be the middle, five, six will be the middle, seven, eight will be the bottom. That's gonna be different depending on what size kiln you have, how many elements there are, everything. So you just gotta make sure you pay attention to how this is set up in here. So the first one I cut off already is number one. You gotta cut off these little pieces right here. I don't know the actual terms of things, but basically right here, you gotta cut off this wire. You basically gotta cut it off here and here to get the to start getting the element out on the inside. And you are gonna need a pair of like tin snips, I realized, because that wire is really pretty thick. All right, so got that and you can tell these elements are toast because that just came right off. So then once you get that wire on the inside cut, you can start to pull out the elements, which they all have little pins in them. And you do want to try and get those pins out. So you can take a needle nose pliers or some kind of pliers and just pull those little pins out of there. And then as you pull the pins, you can start to pull the elements off. And it is tedious. I mean, you want to be careful you're not breaking too much brick. So yeah, I mean the elements should not break apart that easily. So that is why we are doing this. I mean, I almost should just go around and pull out all the pins first. So now I'll just start pulling all the elements out. What you should technically do is probably vacuum these out to get any debris dust out of there. So now here we have our new element and then we have our new other things, pins, crimper thingies, ceramic thingies. I don't know the names of any of this, obviously, if you can't tell, I'm just calling things thingies. And they're nice because they, they are made for this specific kiln. So they have like little bent areas that are the corners. So you kind of know where everything is supposed to go. You can tell which end to start from based on where the kink is in here. So for example, I see that the top one 
has, you know, this far until it turns for the first time. And on the other end, there's a turn like one inch from the end. So I know that I'm gonna take this end, stick it through here, right? And then you can just start laying the element in the little groove. So I'm gonna take all my stuff. You wanna get that really nice laid in there, right in the corner. And this, this is a little, kind of get in a groove and make it happen. I mean, the better you do this now, the more solid it'll be, you know, forever. And the less issues you'll have with elements popping out. All right, so the elements are laid. I just gotta make sure that I pin each corner and then I will come back and I will set up the, the rest and then attach the wires to the wires and then we'll have the first of four done. The last piece of this is that we need to take these wires that are coming out of the elements and connect them to the kiln part. So first there's these, the first thing that goes on is these ceramic pieces, right? So those go on like that. And then we wanna get number one connected to here, which number one. So basically we're using these pieces to you know, connect one onto this side and then one onto this side. So we need to cut this piece so that only, you know, a little bit is sticking out. Boom. Okay, so we got that. And we'll take this piece, stick it right on the end. And then I will take this tool and crimp it. So basically I'm just squeezing this. Yeah, this is, uh, I forget how big of a job this is. So basically crimp that on there as much as you can. And then you take this piece, which is number one, stick the wire in there. And this one is more important to just like make sure it's really tight on there. Crimp it down. There we go, now it's quite stuck in there. All right, so that's the first one. Whew. Okay, so we have, we have the top three done and we just have the bottom left. So I thought I would quick do a overview and a recap of how to do each one because each one is kind of its own separate thing, right? Each like element that you do. So we're gonna do the bottom one now. So the first thing that you need to do is you cut, you cut those wires on both sides. So you have the wire that connects to the kiln controller and then you have the wire that connects to the element. So you cut both sides of those so you can start pulling out the elements. Then you go around and you pull the old pins out so that you can take out the old elements, right? So then it's clean, you wanna vacuum that out so you get all the dust and debris out of there. And then you stick the new element in. So you put one piece in here, go through it. At each corner, it's really important you put a pin. And I found that it worked really well to put the pin in as you go so that you make sure you're fitting the corners in where they need to go. Then once you get both wires sticking out with from the element, then you cut those appropriate sizes so that you can crimp one side to the little connector thingy. <laughs> my side, my, I'm just not using the right terminology, but I hope you can figure it out. So the metal piece that connects the wire that goes to the kiln controller and the wire that goes to the element, those two things need to connect. You connect those and you crimp them. Just make sure that you're doing it in the same order that it was. So that's a super quick version of what I'm doing. I thought I suppose I'll just throw a time lapse on right now and you can watch me do the last one. Oh, I hope you guys learned something. I hope this was a useful video for you. Um, comment below what I missed. I'm certainly not an expert, but every time I've changed elements, it's worked. So whatever I'm doing, I'm doing something right. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Whoosh.